Of course, you have to wonder where this mindset, this entitlement, this deep-seated, like, well, we want these guys, but we want them exclusively on our terms, where this stuff comes from. Mm -hmm. Well, this article here, The Sad Truth About Fat Acceptance, the opening paragraph just gives you an idea of the the mental illness (laughs) on display here. Last week, self-described queer, non-binary, fat sex therapist... Sonali Ras Shatwar delivered a two-hour lecture entitled, wait for it, Race as a Body Image Issue at the St. Olaf College Health and Wellness Center in Minnesota. Olaf. The event was a master class in social justice. Here we go. At times putting shame to the parodies of the genre that now traffic on social media. In the video, the visibly obese woman asks, is it my fatness that causes my high blood pressure, or is it my experience of weight stigma? Okay. (laughs) In the presentation, which has gone viral, Rashatwar also compared fat phobia not only to eugenics, which is itself absurd, but also to Nazi science and declared that a child cannot consent to being on a diet the same way a child cannot consent to having sex. And yet you're pushing that as part of your social movement now. It's amazing. Indeed, the very titles of her recurring presentations, including, if you don't have booze, you might need it, Health is a social construct. Oh, here we go. Decolonizing sex positivity. Gender isn't real and neither is health. (laughs) Oh my God. (laughs) And how fat queers the body. These sound like something you'd find on the Twitter feed of satirists such as Titania McGrath or Madeline Sears. Yet Rashatwar can't be dismissed as just another social media kook, for she is regularly invited to speak to actual health experts at numerous universities across North America, including, recently, medical students at the University of Texas, and the listed speaking fee on her website is $5,000. Wow. We don't make that streaming three days a week in a month. Yeah. Wow. This is where the entitlement comes from, dudes, is because feminism, which is infantilizing women from the top down, bottom up, and every fat-filled layer in between, is teaching them, I mean, health is a social construct. Well, I mean... Nothing is your fault, ladies. This is this is what pe- this is what they're teaching people in college. Yeah. No accountability, no responsibility, and it's all someone else's fault. Yep. And if we can't make any of that happen, then it simply doesn't exist. Yeah, but we're we're the privileged ones. Oh my Don't god! Don't forget. Yeah, male privilege is a real thing. When you talk about female privilege, they laugh at you. Well, the ultimate privilege is being allowed to live in a farce. Yeah. Living in a world that uh, is a, an illusion and all of the other things that have to happen to make sure you remain there happily. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And to have the government subsidize your bad decisions and have the media back up all of your narratives. Well, they're trying to have the government pass laws to force people to uh, support their delusions. Yeah. I mean, what was the last time that you watched the news and, you know, white man do evil thing good? <laughs> Never seen Supposedly, that. we have all this institutional power. I, I think I'm still waiting on mine, but. <laughs> yeah. I mean, at no point in my life has anyone ever said, yeah, all right, you don't have to do it because you're white, Pop. Yeah. And. Never. This, this fat acceptance stuff, have you ever heard of this applying to men? Never. I mean, we see this, again, right here, this one headline just says it all. Women are plus size, men are overweight. Yep. Yeah. It's linguistic propaganda. Well, it's, you know, cheetah backflips using your tongue, but hey, that's another. uh... Social construct. Yeah, health is such a social construct. I love this here. This comes from the CDC's own website. The health effects of overweight and obesity. I love this. People who have obesity compared to those with a normal or healthy weight are at increased risk for many serious diseases and health conditions, including the following. 
all causes the of death. death. <laughs> that's that's uh, that pretty much says it all right there. S- sounds like a social construct to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get the hell out of here. Uh, and then, of course, you got high blood pressure, high LDL cholesterol, low HDL cholesterol, high levels of triglycerides, which cause heart attacks, uh, type 2 diabetes, coronary heart disease, stroke, gallbladder disease, osteoarthritis, sleep apnea and breathing problems, many types of cancer, low quality of life, mental illness such as clinical depression, anxiety, and other mental disorders, body pain, and difficulty with physical functioning. Apparently, all these ladies out there pushing the fat positive shit, I've never sat down to watch one episode of My 600 Pound Life. Yeah, and, you know, that's all social constructs, right? Yeah. If you guys haven't seen uh, Think Before You Sleep's dissection of the absolute worst chick who was ever on that show, My 600 Pound Life, I highly recommend it. Go to his channel, subscribe, and tell him the crazy drunk uncle sent you. Because <laughs> it's a great channel. But ho- holy smoking Joe Frazier. <laughs> all causes of death i mean that's pretty damning yeah and this is on the cdc website yeah i'm not at increased risk for anything of course other than all causes of death that's just a social construct you big at so death is a social con- okay you keep thinking that <laughs> wow <laughs> 